of course, was familiar with his work through Dance Magazine. Um, when I was, you know, both a student and uh, started my professional career in Washington, D.C. But once I got to the Joffrey uh, in 74, I actually hired him to do a profile of me so that I could have pictures that weren't necessarily related to uh, specific productions they were about me. As most dancers tend to to want to have something that they can send out for guestings or whatnot. Photographing dance is a is a is a unique beast uh, because there are two types of photography for dance. One is actually catching the moving body in motion and sensing when to take the picture so that it's at the peak of its movement and it's expressive and alive. And the other is posing a dancer. Jack had a way of either moving you into the pose or getting you into the pose and keeping you alive while you were in it, facilitating you to keep breathing, to keep a living, a sense of living motion, even though you might be, you know, put your head up, keep your eyes there, you know, so that he could get a certain look out of the lighting, but not make you feel stiff, you know, how's that? You know, one would think that most dancers are naturally photogenic. Uh, I was not one of them. But when I knew my picture was being taken, I was very, um, I don't know, I, I had a hard time with that. I could get a good picture taken of me if I wasn't aware of it. In all the years that um, people took pictures, uh, I have very, very, very few that are, are worth looking at. And 99% of them are Jack Mitchells. When you refer to the one that I call the Eric Broom pose, a complete and total ripoff of, 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 of something that I'd seen Eric Broom do, uh, and, and he was what I wanted to be. Uh, but the thing that was so clever about Jack is he understood that. I remember he used to go to that little studio, and that studio was no bigger than this room that I'm sitting in. You know, we'd do jumping things, and you know, it was, it was amazing. There were some others that I was just shown recently with a costume uh, of a ballet that Chu San Go had done. And I look at it now in objectivity, I probably, when I was that age, in 1833, uh, I probably would have had some criticisms, criticisms of it. But I see myself, I see the young man there, you know, and the potential of that young man. And all the technical details are beautiful, the lighting, the, you know, it's an interesting photograph, even if it wasn't me, you know. Uh, I would judge it the same way, as I would just look, the lines, the composition, everything about it is beautiful. But what's really nice is that um, I recognize me. There are others of a particular production at the Joffrey Ballet we did of Oscar Arias's Romeo and Juliet that was very stylized. It was in white face. You might think Carmen dell'arte or some mime show or something, but it was not. It was a real ballet that had a real significant impact. But you were behind a mask. And he, you know, I, he, when I see the pictures, I, I realize he got me to, to do things with that mask. There's me behind it, but it could have been anybody. And it was about composition. He was choreographing for the camera. But I think the one that I, that, that I admire the most is the pictures he took of me in Ashton's The Dream. He got pretty daring and, you know, I, to my credit, I suppose I did too. I was, I was the one leaping in the air and whatnot. But what he caught at the peak of moments and directed me towards getting rid of certain tensions in my neck because I was jumping and I was bending and no, 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 I realized that's remarkable. That's a, you know, it's a better picture than I thought it was at the time. I look at it now and I go, oof, that's... Um, and not because it's me. It's not because I'm going, oh God, I'm young and beautiful in that picture. It, it, again, it's the technical details. What's evident behind it is, you know, there's a kid jumping in the air, in a big arc, and there's no tension in the neck. That was actually me. Um, but the truth is, that wasn't actually me. That was Jack. 